All right, so let's talk about web hosting for a minute. With so many options out there, it can kind of feel overwhelming to choose the right one. A lot of people jump straight into paid hosting thinking it's the only way to go, but what about the free options? They exist, but we don't always take them seriously. Maybe it's because we assume they come with strings attached, or maybe we just assume that free means low quality. But here's the thing. There are some pretty decent free web hosting platforms out there. Sure, they come with limitations, but they can still be a great starting point if you're just getting your feet wet or working on a small project. So today we're taking a closer look at three free web hosting platforms and figuring out what the real deal is. Are they worth your time or are they just too good to be true? I also have a discount code for you guys to use. So if you stick around until the end of the video, you'll find out a lot more about that. First up is Wix. And if you've ever dabbled in web design, you've probably heard of it, Wix has made a name for itself as one of the easiest ways to build a website, thanks to its super user-friendly interface. If you're not into coding, this platform is a dream. The drag and drop editor lets you put things exactly where you want them, and there are tons of templates to help you get started. If designing isn't really your thing, Wix even has Wix ADI, which builds a site for you based on a few simple questions. It's about as beginner-friendly as it gets. Wix also has a solid app market. So if you ever want to add extra features, it's just a few clicks away. And one of the best parts is that every site is mobile friendly right out of the box, meaning you don't have to stress about how it looks on different screens. But as great as it sounds, the free plan has some downsides. For starters, Wix plasters ads all over your site, which can be a big deal if you want something that looks professional. You also get limited storage and bandwidth. So if you plan on uploading a lot of images, videos, or other content, you might run into problems pretty quickly. Another frustrating thing thing is that once you pick a template, you're kind of stuck with it. There's no easy way to switch without rebuilding your entire site. And while Wix makes everything look pretty, it can be slow, especially if your site is media heavy. A slow website isn't just annoying for visitors, it can also hurt your rankings on Google. So Wix is perfect for beginners who want to create a website without touching a single line of code, but if you're looking for something scalable and flexible, the limitations of the free plan can start to feel frustrating pretty fast. Next up is Infinity Free, and on paper, it sounds almost too good to be true. They offer unlimited storage and bandwidth, which is something you almost never see in free hosting. Plus, they give you SSL certificates and cPanel access, which makes managing your site a lot easier. If you're someone who likes a bit more control over your website, Infinity Free has a few advantages over platforms like Wix. However, once you start digging into the fine print, the downsides become pretty obvious. For one, they claim to offer unlimited storage, but there are restrictions buried in the terms of service that limit what you can actually upload. If they decide your site is using too many resources, they can suspend it without warning. So if you just need a basic site, Infinity Free isn't a bad option, but if you're planning to build something long term, it might not be the best choice. Last but not least, we have Award Space, which is one of the more balanced free hosting options out there. Unlike some other providers, Award Space lets you host up to four websites on their free plan, which already gives you more flexibility than most. You also get one gigabyte of storage and five gigabytes of bandwidth, which is a pretty good deal for a free service. One of the best things about Award Space is that it doesn't force ads on your website. If you're trying to create something professional looking, that's a huge plus. It also supports PHP and MySQL, so you can run WordPress or other dynamic websites without any issues. It's beginner friendly with one click CMS installs, but it also gives you more control if you like to tweak things yourself. But like all free hosting, there are limitations. You're not going to get blazing fast speeds and storage is limited. So it's not ideal for sites that need a lot of resources. But compared to most other free options, especially the ones on our list, Award Space gives you more freedom and a better overall experience. Now that we've gone over these options, let's talk about the big picture. Free hosting might sound tempting, but it comes with some major drawbacks as we've discussed. And customer support is usually non-existent. So if something goes wrong, you're on your own. The feature set is limited, which might not matter if you're just starting out, but can become frustrating as your site grows. There's also the risk of sudden shutdowns. Free hosting providers can change their pricing or disappear overnight, such as Triple O Web Host, which is something that I've talked about in previous videos. And this leaves you scrambling to find a backup plan. And if site speed and SEO matter to you, free hosting probably isn't the best choice. Slow loading times and ads can tank your rankings, making it harder for people to find your site. Now, if you want something reliable without spending a fortune, Hostinger is one of the best budget-friendly hosting providers out there. Their $3 per month plan comes 
comes with a free domain SSL certificates, 100 gigabytes of storage and WordPress integration, which is a steal compared to what most providers offer. They even give you a few months free, making it one of the best deals around. Hostinger also has a super user-friendly control panel and an AI-powered website builder, which makes launching a site easier than ever. But you won't find these prices directly on their website, so you'll need to use the links in the description. And if you use the coupon code SITESTARTERS, you'll get an extra 10% off. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And at any rate, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.